Now, let me tell you something. That all this, you guys are really lucky at this particular generation of yours because your B schools have suddenly discovered that there's a word which is called entrepreneurship and they could actually spell it. <laughs> so suddenly, entrepreneurship is the buzzword. Okay, what's the difference between an entrepreneur and a MBA employee? See, when you do an MBA and your whole life is uh, designed around a package, okay, and all you're looking for is that campus placement where um, some suited booted type comes and turns around and looks at you eagle-eyed and says, I'm going to give you a job and this is your package and then you compare your package with not only with your friends but also with I am Ahmedabad, I am this, uh, what do you call it? Hyderabad, etc. and you realize that your package is really frugal. <laughs> but you don't have too much of a choice at that stage because we are in a recession right now. So if you notice in a recession, MBAs are not in demand. They prefer people who are not MBAs because they don't have expectations. So if you're an MSc or if you're a you know, BCom or if you're an MCom, then you don't ask them for your package. As a matter of fact, you don't ask for a package. You say, what will be my salary? <laughs> okay, salary is what you get at the end of the month. The package is what you get after five years. Perks, cars, you know, uh, Bangla, Miss Mangla, the whole works. <laughs> so, everybody starts planning their lives from their first year in MBA. Actually start planning life. After two years I'm going to be this, then I'm going to get promoted, then I'm going to do specialize, then I'm going to be here, then this is going to be my package, and uh, this is the kind of place that I want to live in, and I'm move, going to move from Ghaziabad to Delhi. Definitely. <laughs> Maybe not Luton's Delhi, but uh, uh, eventually, yes, even Luton's Delhi. That's when I get married to some very richy rich politician's daughter who's, who's uh, not so good looking. <laughs> okay, do all the practical things of that. So you start planning all this at a very early age and you think it's a part of your MBA. It is. Planning for the future is very definitely a part of your MBA. But one thing you guys forget about. You know, what is it in life that makes life worth living? Passion. Passion. I find most people who join with a large package passionately look at the clock for a two big six o'clock. <laughs> and single-mindedly forget everything else except that. Because at six o'clock, life starts. From 9.30 to 6, you don't know what you're doing there. So you design t-shirts for yourself. I hate Mondays. You know, and everybody wears it on a Sunday night. So you wake up with this black t-shirt with white lettering saying, I hate Mondays. So you get up and you think of your boss, of your office, of your job, and you groan and you want to go back to sleep. It's like good old college days again. You know, where you get up and say, I'm going to bunk down and go back to sleep. But unfortunately, you can't punk because you have a package. <laughs> and the package will be severely dented if you start punking. 